Hey everybody, Punisher88 here coming to you live with my third ever uh, contest entry here on YouTube. So uh, this is my entry to KKN Comics uh, 200 subscribers contest. Uh, so right off the bat I'd like to say uh, congrats on 200 subscribers. Uh, that's a heck of a number to get to and uh, look forward to seeing the number climb higher in the future. Uh, also, um, I wanted to say, even though I'm a relatively new subscriber to your channel, um, after checking out your, your videos and stuff, uh, you, you got some pretty cool books, man. And, uh, ha hats off to, uh, uh, you know, to you for being able to acquire some of that great stuff. Uh, really like the G.I. Joe stuff and, uh, just everything in general. So, uh, really cool. So, uh, yeah, keep up the great vids and uh, look forward to seeing more awesome stuff in the future. And uh, to everyone else out there who's watching this, um, I highly recommend you go check out KKN Comics' channel. Uh, he's got a bunch of great videos, whether it's, you know, showing his different books to showing, you know, how to... Um, I believe it was categorize them or whichever. Really cool stuff. So uh, check them out. And at the same time, not to sound not to sound too shameless for plugging my channel, but you know, feel free to check out mine as well. And before leaving, click that subscribe button. Okay, so um, there was four questions he asked. So the first one was, "Where are you from?" Well. I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Um, nothing more exciting to tell. Um, gets pretty cold here in the winter, but hey, it's Canada. What do you expect? And um, that's about it. Oh, wait, there is one more cool thing I could say about Montreal. Go Habs, go. Sorry, had, had to uh, had to you know support my team. Anyway, so um, so that's that. Second thing is um, two personally uh, valuable books. Well, I know you asked for two, but it was too hard to pick just two. So I have four. So I hope you don't mind. And I'm not doing this just you know in a way to you know just show off my books or whatever. But these these four that I pick personally uh, mean quite a bit to me. So I'll get to those. So first off I have Amazing Spider-Man 361 uh, to a lot of the collectors or fans or whatever out there you guys will know that this is the first uh, full appearance of Carnage. Uh, I got this in um, September at uh, Montreal Comic Con. Um, it was in a a bundle thing with with one of the creator tables and for the price that they gave me I just couldn't pass it up it's a book I was wanting for a long time uh, I've always been you know I, I, I won't just say carnage I'm, I'm a symbiote fan I like carnage I like venom toxin scream all all those uh, you know the symbiote characters really like them so uh, when when I had a chance to get this, I I couldn't pass it up. So uh, and it's in pretty darn good condition. There's no nicks in the uh, spine or anything. Uh, so I, I'm really happy to have this. Uh, the second book, and this is the only book I actually have in Mylar. Um, this book has a lot of meaning to me, and um, I, I, I as well never thought I was ever going to own this book, but when I saw the price, uh, it's not perfect, there's a big crease in the cover, but uh, like I said, when I saw the price, I was like, that's coming home with me, and this is Amazing Spider-Man issue 300, the first full appearance of Venom. Um, I got this at one of the shops that that I go to, and at the time he had two copies of this. 
he had like a, I think it was like a 9.5 or a 9.8 uh, issue, not slabbed or anything, and he was asking like $250 for it, and I was like, oh man, that's just a little too much for me. And then he had this one, which he was asking 50 for, and this is the first comic I ever bought where I spent over, you know, 20 bucks for it. And this was the first, like, big book I ever bought. And uh, when I first thought about it, I was like, ooh, 50. But then later on after getting it, I was like, okay, I spent 50 bucks on it. But when you look everywhere else, like on eBay or whatever, this is like a $100 plus dollar book. So, uh I was like, okay, I I got it for a good deal. So, so yeah, so Amazing Spider-Man 300. Uh, next, this is a came in a top loader like this. Um, this book I I also previously just required at uh, Montreal Comic Con as well in September, and um, the price this book was going for. Um, I just couldn't say no. Again, every everywhere I've seen this book, uh, it's been going for crazy amounts of money, and especially now that the movie was announced and everything, so it's going to go up even more. And this is uh, my issue of New Mutants '98, the first appearance of Deadpool. Um, I know KKN. I know you just recently got a uh, got uh, this book as well, so you know I figured, what the heck, I might as well show you mine. So, so yeah, so that's book number three, and then book number four. Uh, this is like my my most prized prized book so far in my my whole collection, and uh, it really means a lot to me that I got this. That's why it's in a frame. And this is my uh, Batman 251. Uh, I don't know what it is. I know uh, one thing, it being Neil Adams, who is one of my, my favorite artists. And second, I would have to say this is my, like, all-time, or at least one of the top, like, three all-time favorite comic book covers ever and um, this this is the most expensive book I've ever bought I paid a hundred dollars for this book and um, but I, I I said for the longest time since I started collecting and everything that um, one day I was gonna actually own this book and uh, well you know here I am now holding it in my hands so I've had this for a while now and uh, trust me the day that I got this book I almost couldn't contain myself I was so excited so so yeah so those are my four uh, like holy grail books uh, next question was um, name three to five books on your um, want list for 2015 well, I have four books. Well, actually, three out of the four, because one of them I actually acquired already this year. I'll get to that one last. So first off is um, X-Men number 12. I mean, the original 60s X-Men, uh, for the main reason because it is the first appearance of the Juggernaut. And the Juggernaut is one of my favorite Marvel villains. And uh, for the longest time, I've always wanted that book, and um, I, I've been checking eBay lately, excuse me, and I found a couple copies of it. Some of them were pretty expensive, and then I found a sort of decent condition book. Uh, it's a bit rough and under double digit, uh, triple digit price. So I'm I'm keeping a lookout for that book and I'm I'm 
I'm still on the fence right now on if I'm going to buy it or not, but um, if if I do and if I actually score it, well, I'll be I'll be very happy about that. So um, yeah, so that's one of them. Uh, second is uh, Batman issue 234, which is the first Silver Age appearance of Two Face. Um, and I've mentioned in a couple of my videos uh, before that Two Face is actually um, my favorite uh, Batman villain. Uh, not hating on Joker or the Riddler or the Penguin or anything, but Two Face is my favorite uh, Batman villain. Um, and the third book is uh, Miss Marvel number one. Um, I'm trying to get that book um, soon because I know with the movie coming out and everything, that book is probably going to skyrocket in price. And I found one at a shop not far from me, and I believe they're asking 50 for it. So we'll see I, I might see if I could get the guy down to around 40 bucks hopefully and if so I'm gonna buy that no problem and the fourth book as I mentioned that I already scored this year is um, it is his official like well it's his first cameo appearance it's not his first full appearance and it's uh, Superman's X pal uh, the new Jimmy Olsen number 134, and it's the uh, first first appearance of Darkseid, uh, which is like in the back of the book in one little panel you see his face on a TV screen, but that is known as the first appearance of Darkseid. So I so already got one off my want list, so I'm hoping for the other three. And next is, or the last question is, uh, two Holy Grail books... Um, that you know, two two real like Holy Grail books. Well, the first one for me is a no-brainer, and that's Amazing Spider-Man issue 129, the first appearance of the Punisher. Uh, I've I've wanted that book um, ever since I got into comic collecting and whatnot, and uh, the only downside is it is a very expensive book uh, I've seen I think the cheapest I've ever seen that book is like around two hundred and fifty dollars and from there the price just goes up and uh, it's a real downer but I do say one day uh, I'm hoping to find that you know one copy that I could get for a reasonable low price and uh, you know finally add it to my collection and uh, another Holy Grail book of mine, I, I have, well, I have two Holy Grails and one is a 50-50. I hope you don't mind uh, me giving more than more than two options. So, so yeah, so the first one was Amazing Spider-Man 129, first appearance of the Punisher. Uh, the next one is from DC, and that's The Flash, issue 123. Um, the first mention, really, of the, you know, alternate universes and stuff and um, believe it or not the first time I ever heard of that book was actually on the Big Bang Theory and um, I looked it up and I love the cover and everything and would love to own that book one day but again very pricey book so that's why yeah I put that in my holy grail category and then third is uh, as I said is a split it's a 50-50 between uh, Giant Size X-Men number one and The Incredible Hulk issue 181, first full appearance of Wolverine. Uh, would love to own one of those one day as well. So, um, you know, fingers crossed. So anyway, uh, I really apologize for making this video so long. It's like almost 15 minutes. But uh, if you've ever watched any of my actual videos, you would know I like to go into detail quite a bit. So... Hence the long video. So anyway, I'm going to end it here. Um, again, before I, before I do, I want to say again to KKN Comics, uh, congrats on the 200 ish, uh, subscribers. And uh, again, really look forward to more great stuff to come out from your channel in the future. And uh, also, 
uh, my fingers are crossed that I win this contest. And uh, if not, well, whoever does win, uh, congrats to them ahead of time. All right, so that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy this video. And um, yeah, that's all for now. So this is Punisher88 signing off. See ya.